Good morning, Remnant Connection. <coughs> Gravel Gertie here. <laughs> uh, thank you for returning. Thank you for all of your comments, your prayers. And don't forget, we have quite a prayer list this week. So we're going to have a lot of names, but I'm holding back the good news. We have right now, we have two major prayer uh, praises to share with you on Monday. So God is moving on this channel. Um, I'm excited. Amen. So just a reminder, thank you very much in the comment section, the three dots up there at the top next to the share arrow. That's a way to give on the channel. That's the super thanks. It's the little heart with the dollar sign. And also I've ordered that Kona coffee and Kona tea. So uh, if you uh, send a donation to the box, you know, you'll get a surprise back. It's a way, circle of blessings is what I call it. Amen. So I hadn't planned this today, but you know how we walk around and we think on the Lord, amen. And then the Lord kind of puts puzzle pieces together. And I wanted to share this. I felt like the Holy Spirit was saying, just share this today. So I'm going to share what I was thinking here in my spirit today. And I'm open to comments. I I read these comments. I know many of you are out of fellowship. I believe that especially, well, not just especially America. I believe in the West, we're experiencing the Laosia Church. And that's the church that's uh, lukewarm. And uh, the remnant is searching for a church. And what got me to thinking, one of our uh, friends on the channel here that I pray for often and we communicate through the mail together, um, uh, She she's a new believer and I'm encouraging her to find a church, a good church. And I always say to you folks that if you have a wonderful church and pastor that's preaching the word, you give him an extra hug today when you or Sunday when you go to church because they're not everywhere. Amen. I have been in a number of churches in my city and the people are precious. It's the body of Christ. The people are precious. But when I <clears throat> was praying for my little friend here about finding a church this morning, the Lord showed me some things, and I'd be interested to hear your comments. I think one of the keys that's missing in this last day's church and why we're uh, going often from church to church searching for a good church is that I believe what the Holy Spirit was showing me is there's no discernment. There is no discernment in the leadership of the church. Now, we can blame it on Bible colleges. We can blame it on this or that. But what it comes down to is each one of us, especially the pastors, the teachers, you know, we have to go to God and ask for more and more that anointing uh, discernment for the gifts, you know, speaking in tongues, whatever it might be. Um, I was thinking as I was praying for a church for this little gal I was in a church here in town and there was a young man. It was the first time I visited the uh, retired preacher greeted me. They were very sweet people. They were very kind to me. A number of the fellows in the church came over and said, good morning, and greeted, you know, the elders. And so a young man came up to the pulpit to preach and he was very young, maybe 25, maybe just 25. <clears throat> and he was, you know, uh, a young man. And what this church had done was they sent him up to a nearby state to pastor a church. And within six months, he had to come back. The church asked him to leave. Amen. And when he did his sermon and they were blaming the enemy on this, they said this was the devil that you know, took him from that church. Well, I knew immediately that that young man was not ready to be a pastor. Probably that young man should have been a youth pastor for another eight years. I mean, there was no way that young man was ready uh, in the spirit to be a pastor of a church. So I knew immediately what had happened there. And the church leaders of that church that I was sitting in that day were blaming the enemy. And I thought about this as I was praying for this little gal to find a church. And then the Lord showed me one of the key pieces. So I'd be interested to hear your comments on this. 
Uh, but one of the key p- pieces missing in the last day's church is there's no discernment. And that would go along with the Laodicea spirit in a church. You know, the days, the lukewarm, there's not the praying going on. Uh, there's not uh, the leadership especially the preachers seeking God as they should be seeking God. Amen. So this isn't going to be a long video. I just wanted to share that with you. I wanted to just get what you think, what you see as you, as I know many of you are seeking to find a good church. And I was talking to a lady in New Zealand and she had a family and she said, Jackie, we, we can't find a church. And so all of these recent conversations and then praying for my new little Christian here that is looking for a church. And I've been praying that God would send her to a good church, a pastor that's preaching the word. She's new in the Lord. Amen. Although she has a lot of discernment and wisdom for a new believer. And so many of you new believers on this channel, I'm, I'm, you guys are growing so much in the Lord. It, I'm just proud of you. Amen. So I just talking out loud what the, you know, how we go through our day sometimes and the Lord shows us, puts us pieces together. We think back, oh yeah. And then things come together and I'd be anxious to hear what your comments saying. But one of the, I believe one of the main uh, important ingredients missing in these churches, and perhaps that's why many of these are lukewarm churches, is there's no discernment in the preachers and in the leadership. You know, as, as I thought back about that precious young man, I'm sure he had a call in his life, but there's no way that young man could have handled a church. How can a young man at only 25 years old counsel a married couple that have been married without the full anointing of God and the wisdom and discernment of God counsel somebody in their 50s about their marriage? I mean, there's no way. Now, with the youth, he would have been a wonderful uh, you know, in that place, he would have been a wonderful uh, man of God with the young people, being a young man with small children. Amen. So it had nothing to do with age. But I was thinking about that. If you put line it up with the Laodicea church, which, which I believe we are, uh, it's, I can speak to America, a lukewarm church. You know, they want to go have their coffee in the sanctuary and go into and feel good and then walk out and not even pick up their Bibles until next Sunday when they read the three scriptures in a sermon along with the pastor. This is the Laosia. And that's what the Lord was showing me. There is no discernment in the leadership, in the pastors of many, many of these churches. And that's why the remnant is so seeking a church. We walk into these churches and we go to the cause immediately of what is missing in that church. Amen. So, and wanted to share that. I'm open to your comments. Let me know what you think. If you experienced this, uh, has the you know the Holy Spirit, you know, led me to put this on the channel. So maybe you have recently been searching for a church and you feel the same way. And this will bear witness to your spirit. So let me know what you think. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for those of you that are seeking a church, especially those with children. You know, I felt when I was raising my children, you know, we were in that church all the time. That was our life, right? That was the youth group for the kids. and. Um, I know how important it is to have a good church, you know, and it's so hard to sit in a dead church because you have children and they're, you know, they're getting that fellowship with their uh, little friends that they so need. I have been there. I get it. I understand. I related to that lady in New Zealand. I so understand where she was coming from. So those of you that are searching for a good church, 
I'm going to pray for you today that you find a preacher, a, a strong leadership in that church that is preaching the word. The anointing is present. The gifts are present. The altar is open. Amen. And there's a fire in that church. Amen. Lord, I lift up each one today, Lord, each one listening, Lord. I pray that you have your way in our life, Lord. Have your way in us and through us, Lord God. We pray for the pastors, Lord God. We pray for the leaders. We pray for the teachers, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that the anointing would fall upon your people in these churches, in my city, in the cities represented here all around the world, Lord God, that your people would become wise and discerning and the anointing would pour up pour down upon your people, Lord God, and that we would grow and have a divine purpose, whatever church we sit in, Lord, open up wonderful churches, wise pastors for your people that are searching and seeking a good church home. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Leave your comments. I'd be curious to know what you think about this. God bless you. It's light shine upon you today in Jesus' name.